Well, the sun is the primary puzzle in the universe because it's the one star we can observe in detail. And stars are complicated things. You can't imagine all the strange things that have been discovered in the sun. As a child, I enjoyed very much learning how things work. And when I was in high school, I took the physics course my last year and realized how fascinated I was. When I first stumbled across the mathematics that established the solar wind, it was 1957. I was 30 years old. C over V equals, it's so simple. Four lines of algebra. In my first two or three papers on the solar wind, the solar wind does not appear. I talked about solar corpuscular radiation, and then I sort of realized it's a flow of gas, and it sort of hit me, it's the solar wind. When I wrote the first paper, as far as I was concerned, it was open and shut. I remember how upset the referee was that Chandrasekhar, the editor, sent my first paper to, and he said, this is ridiculous, and if, before you write a scientific paper, you should at least take the trouble of going to the library and reading up on the subject. No further criticism, no further comment. My response to Chandrasekhar was, well, he couldn't find anything wrong with it. It must be pretty good. I've always looked upon myself as a physicist, learning new tricks by looking at nature. The space, the whole galaxy, the whole universe, I know no better place to find new physics.